Don't forget to wear your headphones. And that about concludes it for today. So, unless there is any objection, class is dismissed. Um, yes, miss. Ah, so, why do you have your hand up? Talk to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe that was a mistake, a little. <laughs> Class, everyone can go out. Not you. You and I have some talking to do about your behavior. <laughs> settle down, class. Settle down. You can leave now. Please, you. Close the door, and we'll have a little chat. All right? Thank you. Come here. In front of me, please. You can sit down if you want. Or, I can stand up. Uh, if that's what you prefer. Hmm? Is that better? <laughs> well, then. I have a couple of things to tell you. First of all, that is not appropriate behavior. Calling me something like that in front of everyone else. Not very good behavior at all. You see, you're supposed to keep our relationship a secret. And if you keep doing these things, some people might get wise. It's not a very good chance to take, no. Do you agree or not, my pet? It gives a whole new meaning to the teacher's pet, doesn't it? <laughs> Now, even though we're here, it still doesn't mean that relationships like ours are accepted. Not even in universities. It is not appropriate. It's not fair for anyone else, let's say. We cannot let anyone know of us. Understood? <laughs> no. You have to listen to me and tell me. Understood? Good. Good. Now, I just have to make sure that you understand the gravity of the situation. What does that play here? You might be removed. You might be expelled. I might be expelled. Fired. Disbarred. Metaphorically. Understand? <laughs> now, my shy little pet, do you promise? As is necessary, do you promise to keep your tiny Pretty little mouth shut. Just while we're here. Hmm? When we're studying or pretending to. While well, you look at me with those intense eyes. <laughs> Don't think I haven't noticed. You. Raging hungry for something. That we both know we have, but we can't show. And you have to promise me, and promise yourself, most importantly, that you will control yourself. Hmm? Lack of self-control is only good in those situations that we've already laid out. When we're not here. When we're in a place that's private. When we're doing something that the school board would not approve of. 
or your peers. Or else they'll laugh at you again. Even though they don't know how happy I might make you when I want to. <laughs> but for now, you have to understand. And you will understand. Mouth shut. Ears focused and eyes normal. Please? I said... Please, you have anything to say for yourself? Anything to promise? Come on, say the words. Say that you understand and that you promise not to do these things. You're gonna bring way too much attention to us. To this forbidden relationship that we have. Take a sip now. We can finish our conversation here. It's less tense this way, don't you think? It's more amicable. It's more personal, more us, you could say. Hmm? Listen, pet. I do not want to see you. This public humiliation isn't really the kind I have in mind. Not for you, not for me. I did promise already not to interfere with your grades, and you promised not to cry and whine about it. So please, don't make a fool of yourself. Control yourself. I know it's hard. I know you. Please, and do as I say. I just want to see you beautiful as you are, untouched, not bothered, and uncontested in your beauty and standard. Not that it matters to others, not that it might matter to you. Or me. I just want you to be safe. Because as prohibited, as clandestine, as dangerous and maybe immoral as the nature of our relationship is between a professor and you, the student, I still think of it true and fair and just just like any other relationship except of course I love this one <laughs> ours is much more important much deeper I'd hate to see you get hurt in the way that you won't enjoy, of course. Don't get yourself into a situation in which you will end up hurt. Physically or otherwise. Is that alright? With you? Good. Good, good. My pet. Now, my darling. Please. Go home, rest, synchronize your mind and words for the future, so that you don't make these mistakes again. And, above all, for now, pretend as if you're very upset that I scolded you so fiercely that you won't say that again. That you're so embarrassed and that you're so 
repented of this. <laughs> Let them laugh if they want. I'm the one laughing. Because I have you and they don't. Alright? Come here. <laughs> Wait until you're not blushing anymore and get out. I have work to do. <laughs> I'll see you later, I guess. <laughs>